been headed north for a really long time now. <clears throat> it's getting really cold really fast. You're right about that, Hoagie. I'm so cold, I feel like I'm starting to freeze up a bit. Oh, dear. What's wrong, Floaty? It seems my propeller is frozen. Hmm. Maybe I could pull it back into action with my tongue. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Too late. Hoagie's tongue is stuck in the propeller. Guys, if all the ho hello. Now he's speaking another language. Hmm, I have an idea. Huh? This should do the trick. And it tastes good, too. Warm cocoa. Yummy! Yes, thank you for the help. No problem. And we'll never get where we're going without helping each other. Yeah, speaking of that, where are we going? Today, we're headed somewhere in North America to Alaska, the largest state in the U.S. and one of the last great wild areas of the world. So, what do you say? Are you guys ready to go wild? Yes, let's do it! That's the spirit! Whee! Wow, what's going on? Yeah, what's all the hubbub, bub? Well, I'm, uh... Huh? Mush, mush! Wow. Wow. There we go. Oh. Uh... Hello. Welcome to Anchorage. Passport, please. Oh, of course. Here you are. Enjoy your visit. <gasps> so many dogs. More dogs. Look out. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry about that. Our dogs can get a little uh, excited on days like this. I'm Hoagie. This is Bernie and Lorna. And that's our friend Floaty over there. Hello. Nice to meet you all. I'm Inugati. That's your name? <laughs> Inugati. It's Inuit, like me. Inugati means friend. Most people just call me Inny. Oh. Okay. So, Inny, what's going on around here today? Oh, you don't know? It's the Iditarod. The what? The Iditarod. It's a dog race from here in Anchorage all the way to Nome. You got here just in time to see the start. Oh! Oh, I've always wanted to try sledding. I'll be over there if you need me. Wow, this seems like a big deal. How many racers are there? Almost a hundred. It follows a trail that my people have traveled for hundreds of years. Hey, wait! All those dogs that ran past with you before, those were all yours? Yep, my dad and I are mushers too. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> all right, all right. Come down, everybody. Dad, meet my new friends. This is Hoagie, Lorna, and Bernie. Our dogs kind of knock them into a snowdrift. Oh, sorry about that. It's okay. We're used to getting knocked down just before we meet someone new. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you all. I'm Oki, and these guys here are Ajax, Comet, Cupid, Midnight, Finn, Flake, Malachi, Nilak, Kona. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Good boy. And that's Harold. He's our team leader. I think he likes you, Hoagie. Yeah, <laughs> I think maybe he does. So, Innie tells us you guys are, uh... Smashers. He means moochers. <laughs> you must mean mushers. That's what dog sledders are called. And, yep, we sure are. Mushers? <laughs> Where'd they ever come up with a funny name like that? It's so cool. You're real-life dog sledders. Yep, and today we're heading to know just like everybody else. Well, that's the thing. There's a small problem with the sled. What happened? I think maybe a little mishap with a snowplow. But we'll never get to know him with that. Wait a minute. If we can help you fix your sled, can we tag along with you to know? Oh, yes, please, Papa. Well, I'm fine with that, but I don't know how. Do you have an idea, Hoagie? Oh, huh? <laughs> we. <laughs> I think I do. Can you believe it? We're gonna be in a dog sled race! I know! A real race with real mushers! Who'd 
have thought I'd be a sled one day. But hey, don't we need to get some food like everyone else? Yeah, and camping stuff. Won't we get cold? <laughs> that stuff's not for Inuit. But we're not Inuit like you. Won't we need stuff? <laughs> I think you will all be honorary Inuit by the time this is over. If we want a chance at winning, don't you think we should, uh, you know, get moving? <laughs> we don't need to worry about winning, Hoagie. Ten, nine, eight, <gasps> seven, six, five, Now we're ready. Mush! Mush! Yeah, mush! Keep mushing! Now this is more like it! Woohoo! We can really win this thing! <laughs> it's just so huh? quiet! <laughs> Sorry! I think it's time for lunch. My tummy always growls at lunchtime. And breakfast and dinner time, too. It's like he's got an alarm clock in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you didn't eat an alarm clock, did you? No, I don't think so. But it doesn't really matter anyway. We didn't bring any food, remember? I told you, Hoagie, that's not the Inuit way. Good to me. Uh, <laughs> <gasps> Caribou! Huh? Oh, Carrie who? Caribou. You might know them as reindeer. <gasps> reindeer! <laughs> well, that's not very jolly. Whoa! What's that? That's Denali. It's the tallest mountain in North America. Whoa! We're really making some time. Nothing can stop us now. I have to open my big mouth. This snow is really slowing us down. Yeah, you should try flying in this stuff. It looks like the dogs are even having trouble. Yes, I think we could all use a rest. But how? We're in the middle of nowhere. Well, not exactly. Wow, what's this? It's called an igloo. It's like a house made of ice. My people have made them for thousands of years. A house made of ice? How warm could that be? Guys, guys, look. Aww. <sighs> okay, everyone, get a good rest. We need to get back out there as soon as this storm has passed. Oh, I feel so very rested. It sure was lucky that nice lady let us stay in her igloo. That's the Inuit way, right, Papa? It is. We learned long ago that in order to make it in a place as hard to live in as this, we need to help each other. Well, yeah, but if it's so hard to live here, why don't you move? Whoa. Now you get it. Hey, look! Is that? Yep. No! Wow! I think we just mushed past the leaders. What's happening? Let just stop. It's Harold. Harold, what is it? Uh-oh. Look. Hmm? Looks like she needs a hand. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go help her. It's the Inuit way, right? That's the spirit. <laughs> There you go, ma'am. <laughs> I'm so proud of you all. Floaty's right. You should all feel very good about that. Yeah, we do. Still, it would have been nice to win the race. 
Yeah, we were doing so well. We were in the lead. Oh, uh, we were never actually entered in the race. What? We just needed to get to know. It just so happened we left at the same time. We didn't have the heart to tell you. You seem to be enjoying the race so much. You know, somehow I still feel like we won. I told you, huh? didn't I? Told us what? That you'd all be honorary Inuit by the time we got to know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.